how to do SEO for GoDaddy website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to implement a very good SEO settings and also uh, keyword implementation into your GoDaddy website. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over godaddyplatform.com or the godaddy.com platform. So right here, as you can see, we have signed in into our account and here we have um, the store. So I'm going to click on my account right there at the top. And now we are going to head over the products. Click on my products. Then you're going to see every single product that you have uh, on the GoDaddy platform. So here we have the feature of the website builder, which will allow us to create some websites for free, not technically for free, but it will give us a trial uh, right there for 14 days, I think. And this is a very uh, sufficient until we see here and judge for the website if it is good enough to be published or not. So right there we have the websites. Now we are going to select one of the websites. So I'm going to select this one, even though it is, uh, or its trial has been ended, but it doesn't matter. It is published. So we are going to see here at this, uh, particular, uh, that admin dashboard, we're going to see the analysis and also the performance of the website. As you can see here, we have some, uh, or the few site visitors in the last 30 days, zero orders, zero sales, zero social views. So that means that the SEO on our website is uh, here nearly not existing. So uh, the traffic is uh, not very well, and it is uh, not doing well. So here, when you go to the steps for the uh, setting up the website, you're going to see here the premium, the website, and the marketing. For the marketing, you're going to see here uh, some multiple options to make your website go well within the traffic and also get some organic or also paid traffic. Here we have, for example, nine items. The first four items are the posts on social media to get more traffic, sending out email campaigns to get people back to the site and creating the first blog post. Also get found on Google or thereby uh, registering your, um, your website into the uh, Google SEO or the search engine optimization as you can see so get more traffic to your site with the enhanced seo so by the seo we mean by that that we have uh, some keywords and also some let's say here content that the uh, search engines will like into your website and they will see them as trending and also uh, traffic um, let's say uh, traffic retaining so or also audience retaining that means that if you implement certain words certain keyword I mean not words certain phrases and also also certain content that your website will attract more attention for it or to it by the search engine and these keywords depends from a niche to niche so right there, I'm going to give you an example on how we can find these keywords. You're going to go to Google, then you're going to type in Google keywords. You're going to get here the Google ads. As you can see, we have a keyword planner on it. So we are going to click on it. Then you're going simply to see here that you're going to get here first, change the language of it. So we're going to put it here, English. Then we are going to click on start now. So I will let you see here just a hint or an example on how we can manage the uh, keywords on and get them from the source. 
so this is a preview of an ad so we're not going to use this as a campaign so the purpose of using the google ads or the keyword planner right there is to create a campaign and this campaign will give you some analytics about any keyword that you are going to use into the domain that you have or the niche also so for example in my case here we have a pc gaming or a pc or a computer store i'm going to click on edit website you're going to see it this is it so here we are going only to create a campaign that will attract here all the uh, pc gamers uh, lovers and also fans so with that aside from google ads we have also some platforms like google trends you're going to see here and expect to see every piece of keywords for example we are going to type in gaming like that then we are going to explore the trends and these trends will give you an idea on how they will work so you're going to see here the related topics and the related queries so we are going to see here uh, here dependent also on the region that you are going to use for example we are going to use it for the worldwide and you can compare it so as you can see the related queries has been changed also for the related topics you're going to see here every uh, details about the keywords and how it will work well for you so now we are going to be back to the google right there you can also uh, here uh, get the guide of using the google keyword planner to create more uh, here search campaign as you can see and also some very good results now back to the website of ours we are going to see here how we can implement the seo words so here as you can see you're going to uh, set up the text and also titles description into your website so make sure to add a lot of text areas also titles for example here we have a, a title of our website we have a little as you can see here presentation of our product and we have here nothing else so this is a very poor seo as you can see here uh, setup so now for this one we have the only description that is very poor on the keywords so let's go ahead and add a blog blog right there and this blog will help us uh, get some rich text right there so we are going to click on start writing here we are going to uh, start a blog and for this blog you're going to create a new post so we are going to create post and from there you can go ahead and get your content ready the blog will help you a lot to generate a lot of traffic because it will contain a lot and a lot of keywords so you are going to search for the keywords right there on google trends or on the uh, keyword planner of google ads and then you're going to implement them into your text you can also use the help of the ai by setting up for example chat gpt and create let's say here a a post about uh, so we are going to uh, visit chat gpt and you are going to create a a post about uh, the gaming pc so right here we are going simply to use it here uh write me an article that can that is for example uh, here perfect for seo about the gaming pc so we are going to let it here uh, the uh, implement the text as you can see i have mentioned that we need the seo or it is perfect for the seo so it will here generate a, a content that is based on some research and those research will be uh, getting a lot of traffic for the specific keywords so I'm going just to get it right there. Now we are going to copy and paste the content right there. So I'm going to copy and paste the title right there. Delete that. Also that. And boom. 
Now, I have remembered something that is going to be very util for you, which is uh, here implementing and uh, stuffing your website with images. So you need to add uh, images that has some meaning. For example, you can go ahead and add uh, the image that contains uh, the characteristics right there. So uh, this image will be readable and for uh, the uh, search engines, it will be here a delightful uh, dessert. Why? Because it has a lot of, uh, let's say here, let's not see here the specification of the PC, but let's pretend that it is a report or something that will get a title that has uh, the same SEO words uh, that we have uh, on our blog post into this specific image. So you're going to be pairing a visual and also readable content that contains SEO. So right there, I'm going to click on uh, update. And I think we have published uh, this one. So with that, you're going to uh, ameliorate the SEO search for your PC and make it SEO friendly. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I'll see you soon on the next one.